Congratulations on your new IPP PoolMade automatic pool cleaner. The box will show which model you have purchased. Don't forget to register your serial number on our website to activate the warranty. A small amount of preparation is required before installing your new automatic pool cleaner. Clear out weir basket and backwash. Ensure that your pump is not running. Ensure that there are no cracks in your vac lid. If your filter sand is more than two years old, it may need to be replaced. Now your pool is ready for your new IPP automatic pool cleaner. IPP pool-made automatic pool cleaners are available in two configurations. These are IPP Pool Made Head Only and IPP Pool Made Combi Pack. Both configurations include a Pool Made Pool Cleaner, a Valve, an Elbow, and a Weir Cone. The difference is that the head-only configuration includes only a leader hose with no further hose sections, but also a universal hose connector that enables it to connect to other hoses. The head-only configuration may be chosen when you have the hoses from a different manufacturer and would like to replace the pool cleaner. The combi pack configuration includes IPP hoses and does not have a universal hose connector that enables it to connect to other hoses. For this demonstration, we will be using a pool made combi pack. This box contains the pool made unit, the skirt, the weir valve, elbow, cone. as well as a leader hose and seven normal hoses. The leader hose must always be connected onto the pool cleaner. This gives the cleaner the ability to maneuver out of tight corners. A valve must always be used with any pool cleaner so that there is always sufficient water bypass to the pump and to ensure the pool cleaner is not overstressed. Assembly and installation is simple. Kindly follow the next steps. Slide the skirt over and ensure the fins are facing upward and the word top is facing upwards. Clip on the bumper strip and attach the leader hose. Connect elbow and weir cone to valve and attach to first hose. Add on as many hoses as required from weir to the furthest point from the weir. Now connect this last hose to the leader hose that you attached to the pool maid. So you now have hoses that are one meter longer than the furthest point from the weir. Place the pool maid in the pool and allow it to sink. Remove valve and elbow from weir and detach first hose. Switch pool on and take first hose to aim flow return valve. Place hose opening over return valve to remove all air from the hoses and the pool maid. Note the pool maid will rise to the surface due to air escaping. Once all air is out of the system, keep the hose below water surface and return to the weir. Reattach valve and elbow and plug into the weir. Your pool maid should now be operational and will begin sucking up the dirt in your pool.